In the previous video, we had this same exact problem and we solved it with the quadratic formula. This time, we're going to solve it by using factoring and our zero product property. So, step number one when we're trying to factor is we need to multiply our leading coefficient and the constant term. And the reason why we're doing this is because at this point, our leading coefficient is not 1. If our leading coefficient was 1, this is the easy type of factoring. But here, this is not so easy. So we'll take that leading coefficient of 2. We'll multiply by our constant term, which is negative 13. And we end up with negative 26. So step number 2 says to ask yourselves, what two numbers can you multiply together to get a negative 26? And you want to add them together to get 11. 11 is that coefficient of the linear term, that middle one. So you got to multiply the numbers together to get a negative 26 and add them together to get a positive 11. So this is going to be a positive 13 and a negative 2. So your third step is we need to substitute these values into our problem. So our first term stays the same, is 2x squared. Our last term stays the same, minus 13. And now what we need to do is to fill in this 13 and the negative 2. And it doesn't matter what order you put it into the problem, but you just want to put the easiest terms beside each other. So it makes more sense for me to put the negative 2 here. And yes, I am attaching the x because all we're doing is taking out this term. And then I'm putting a positive 13x here. If we combine those terms together, you're right back at the previous step. So step number 4, we take the first two terms and use the greatest common factor on that. So we're looking to see what can I factor out from both 2x squared and a negative 2x. Well, both of these terms have a 2, and both of these terms have an x. So that's what we're going to factor out. So from this first term, if I divide it by 2, 2 divided by 2 leaves me with 1. And then if I have x squared divided by x, all that leaves me with is x. We're going to do the same thing with the second term. If I factor out a 2x here, 2x divided by 2x cancels out, and you just have the value minus 1 left over. So we're going to do the same process again. You take the last two terms, and you're looking for your greatest common factor. What's the largest term you can pull out from both of these? So both of them have a positive 13 we can factor out. And what do we have left over? x minus 1. So you should see that there is something familiar here. x minus 1 and x minus 1. This will always happen. Whatever is in parentheses should always be the same. If they're not, you know you have a problem. So our very second to last step, we're going to factor out what's in common. So both of these terms have an x minus 1. In the problem. So we're going to factor out x minus 1. And when I take out x minus 1 from this first term, what do you have left over from the first term? Should be 2x. Then when I take out the x minus 1 from the second term, what do you have left over from this part? Should be your 13. So we did all of that just to do the factoring portion. The way you actually get your solutions is using the zero product property. The zero product property says take each of these factors, set them equal to zero, and solve. So I'm going to make space on the right-hand side using green. So our first factor, x minus 1, we set that equal to zero. We get x is equal to 1. So there's one of our solutions. 
we take the second factor at 2x plus 13 equals 0. And we need to solve for x. So the opposite of adding 13, we're going to subtract 13 on both sides. The opposite of multiplying by 2, we're going to divide by 2 on both sides. And these are the same exact answers we received with the quadratic formula. It's just the quadratic formula works to solve any type of quadratic equation. Factoring only works sometimes if the problem is factorable. Made with DoodleCast Pro.